Hello friends! Today I am appearing with no makeup because we are going to be testing out a skincare product together and that is this Canadian Clay Pore Cleanser. I received this in my May Ipsy subscription and I thought we could take some time together to uh, see what this does for my skin. I'll tell you a very little bit about the company, a bit about this product, we will test it out together and then I will also make sure to provide any updates 24 hours from now if there's been any kind of change in my skin, positive, negative, whatever that might be. And as always, there will be timestamps down below in the description bar. When I first saw this product, considering it says it's Canadian Clay Pore Cleanser, I mistakenly thought this was a Canadian product. It is not. It is a Korean beauty product. It's from the company Neogen Dermology. And at first I thought I hadn't tried anything from this company before, uh, but Neogen Dermology is a sub-brand under Neogen, and the brand that is Rep or REP uh, is also under this brand. I've tried one of their masks before and really enjoyed it. So when you look for them, you will see their products are sold in some Sephoras, uh, in some countries in Sephora. Uh, you can also buy their products through Soco Glam and also directly from their website. Um, this brand seems to um, kind of maybe take trends from other brands. I saw on there that they had blemish patches. They also seem to have the kind of acne treatment, um, and I'm trying to think of the original of this, I've never tried it, where it's sort of the pink at the bottom of the bottle and you sort of dip in a uh, Q-tip and put it on your blemishes. So that's the kind of thing they have going on is they seem to maybe take some of the trends that are happening and provide them at a really good price. They describe themselves as modern, sophisticated, and progressive, your beauty innovator. Let's talk about this product specifically. If you buy this from Neogen Dermology's website, it's going to set you back $20 US, so it's pretty reasonable for a mask product. It says that it will be good for your skin because clay is really great for deep cleansing and detoxifying. Uh, that this cleanser is made with microparticles of glacial mineral soil and colloidal clay to help pull out dead skin cells, excess oil, blackheads, and makeup from your pores. Uh, it helps to minimize enlarged pores, tighten your skin, and even out texture and tone. And the carbonated formula gets all foamy when you use it, and the bubbles help whisk away dirt and impurities on your skin surface. Plus, it feels cool and refreshing, uh, and the products are all cruelty-free. So there are a couple little interesting paths that I went down when I was looking at this product because I looked at the ingredients and a few things came to mind. First of all, the very last ingredient in this list is fragrance. So if you do have sensitivities to fragrance, it is in there. I know a lot of people prefer when there is no fragrance in their skincare products. I also noticed that this has both kaolin clay and bentonite clay. Did a little bit of a dive there. Um, kaolin clay tends to be better if you have drier skin. It's a little bit gentler on your skin. Basically, the way that clay masks work is that as they dry down, they are pulling in uh, moisture from around them, so from your skin. So as they dry, they are pulling the oil, and the moisture out of your skin. So if you have oilier skin, it does help to pull some of that excess oil off. Uh, it's why somebody like me who doesn't have super oily skin, I always try to be a little careful with clay masks. Uh, from my understanding, if you use a clay mask and you don't have super oily skin and your skin is a little dry on the drier side, you can still get the benefit by putting on the clay mask and just not letting it dry down to the super, super dry stage because then you will still get some of the benefits of pulling oils out of your skin without it completely dehydrating your skin. Bentonite clay is more uh, recommended if you do have oily skin because it does have a stronger uh, drying or sort of pulling effect. I try to stay away from describing it as pulling toxins out of your skin or anything like that. It basically absorbs moisture. So any oil, any moisture, anything that's there is going to be pulled out and absorbed into the clay. Now, one of the things that struck me here was they talked about carbonated water being an ingredient. And I thought, okay, well, if you put carbonated water into a skincare ingredient and then package it, it's not gonna be carbonated anymore by the time it gets to me. So I was trying to understand what effect carbonated water would have in a skincare product. I mean, it does change the pH a little bit of the carbonated water, as far as I understand, so maybe the pH level makes a difference. 
what I actually went down a rabbit hole of is there is a K-beauty trend of washing your face with carbonated water, which sounds really wasteful unless like me, you have something like a soda stream or something like that. Um, but I didn't really get into seeing if it actually does anything or if it's just the kind of thing that feels kind of neat so people feel like it's having an effect. In any case, those were the sort of ingredients that I looked into a little bit further. Now this one is interesting for a clay mask because they say to use this by putting the mask on your face uh, at about one millimeter thick, letting it sit for only five minutes. So I don't think it's going to have a super drying effect. Um, and then you're supposed to go and with wet hands or they want you to buy a specific brush uh, with that wet brush to massage it and it should get all foamy um, and almost act like a cleanser. So I'm kind of guessing it's also going to have an exfoliating effect when I do that. Uh, so let's get into seeing what this actually does. So it has a very light greenish tint to the gray clay that is in there. And it has a fairly fresh kind of smell to it, almost a little bit minty and herbal. It does say to put this onto dry skin as opposed to wet skin. So that's a pretty smooth clay. It doesn't have a lot of chunks of anything in it. So I actually feel like with this little sample here, I would, depending on how deep this goes, I would get a couple of uses out of this. It does feel like it has a almost foamy texture to it, which seems to get stronger the longer it's out of the container, the more it feels like it's kind of starting to, it is, it's starting to foam up. I did not expect that. Ooh, it's gonna set my timer for five minutes. Yeah, this is having that kind of bubbling effect, which I was not expecting. Um, I know I've seen before carbonated masks, but I was fully expecting this to be a very clay mask. And now I'm feeling a little bit of the tickling feeling of this being sort of a foaming mask. I was really not expecting that. I think maybe if I zoom in here, you can see the foaming that's happening on my face. I mean, I can actually hear the bubbling and popping almost like a, a very light Rice Krispie sound of the carbonation. And you can sort of see it on my fingers here as well, if it'll focus, that it's really foamed up. So this is not at all like a regular clay mask. Okay, I will be back when five minutes is up. Five minutes is up and whoa boy, this is way different than I anticipated it was going to be. This has foamed up so much. It does not feel like a clay drying in any way. It's just gotten foamy and puffed out. And all I can hear is all the little popping noises and fizzing, like very much like very light Rice Krispies. And I feel all the sort of carbonated feeling, little tickling feeling of bubbles popping against my skin, especially up along my forehead and right here. So I'm gonna zoom you in to show you just how much this has puffed up on my face. So I feel like the best place to show you is right here. Like, look at how much that's puffed up. And you can see that's all foam on there, which is so weird. So it's definitely not drying in any way. And it's very, it's a very tactile, interesting feeling. So let's hop into the bathroom and start to wash this off. I just started to rub a wet hand against my face and I thought it was just gonna swipe right off with that bubbly mixture. And instead it's become quite a thick cream feeling again. So it's kind of interesting that it didn't do, I mean, it's definitely not a hardened down clay, but it's just now become quite a bit thicker and creamier. So I'm gonna have to work to get this off a little bit more than I expected I would. So I'll do that and then come back to show you how my skin is looking. That actually washed off a little easier than I expected when I was in there. It came off just feeling exactly like a cleanser, which on their website, they actually refer to this at some points as a mask and at some point as a cleanser. Like when you rinse it off, they talk about taking off the cleanser. And interestingly, they do say, although I have no idea why you would do this, that you can use it over makeup. I'm guessing as like a treatment and makeup remover, but then that would seem strange because I feel like the work it would be doing would be removing your makeup, not providing any skin benefits. 
I don't know, but I mean, my skin does not feel overly dry right now. It does feel like it has, you know, given my face a uh, nice kind of evening effect to my skin tone. And I do feel like I could maybe convince myself that it had tightened my pores a little bit. I'm gonna do this because that tends to take away the blurring filter that unfortunately comes on on my camera. I would say overall that was a nice experience. I mean, it wasn't the drying clay feeling I was expecting. And with all that carbonation and bubbling, it feels like it was fun to use. Uh, and my skin feels fairly balanced and clean right now without being overly dried. And it did not do that scrubbing exfoliating thing I expected. It was all a very creamy kind of experience. There wasn't any physical exfoliation there. Um, I'll pop a spot in now for Melissa of tomorrow to provide any thoughts. It's the next day and my skin looks fine. Maybe my skin tone is a little bit more even. My skin is feeling pretty soft. I don't know how much of the positive things I see are attributable to the mask. It's not like my skin wasn't looking great before. Uh, so although I can't say it has had a huge positive effect, it definitely has had no negative effect. My skin hasn't felt any more oily or any more dry. I haven't gotten any kind of redness. I haven't gotten any breakouts. So there was definitely no bad reaction for my skin. Uh, and if anything, maybe a little bit of a positive. So just testing this out, this seems like it's worth the money. I mean, it's an inexpensive mask and it isn't harsh on your skin. It has some good ingredients in there with the different kinds of clay and it's pretty fun to use. So the fun factor is high up there as well. And considering it's only $20 for the full size, I think this would be a pretty good mask to buy if you want it to have something fun. Uh, if you guys like this mask review, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've tried this out, if you received it in your Ipsy bag, let me know what you think of it. And otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!